Hello and welcome to another video for my Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we are looking at the 1999 release by Tiger Electronics from their Star Wars Episode 1 series of yo-yos. And this particular one we are looking at today is the Destroy Joy, Destroyer Droid yo-yo, I should say. Um, and this is the item in front of us. Okay. Um, so it can still concealed and contained in its original packaging. And you can see you've got the image of Darth Maul on the top left-hand corner. And it says Star Wars Episode 1. Uh, Destroyer Droid Yo-Yo. Authentic Destroyer Droid uh, sound effects. Flashing light effects. And perform tricks and stunts. And at the bottom it says model number 08201. And it's got the Tiger Electronics Limited logo. And just beyond the bubble there you can see the um yo-yo itself okay that's the front of the card let's whip the card around and see what we've got printed on the back okay so i've turned the card around and this is what we've got on the back so again it says ages six and up star wars episode one and says tiger 20 jedi master points i'm presuming that you could collect points and um win prizes or get prizes um for points collection at the end of it uh you got the barcode in from there with the proof of, proof of purchase and it's hs1129 i'm assuming that's the part number and it says electronic destroyer droid yo-yo destroyer droids are elite units of the trade federation army these highly engineered soldiers excel in a variety of combat situations also called wheel droids they are rapidly moving armor wheels that unfold into powerful three-legged weapon platforms now you can control the Trade Federation's most powerful ground force. Push the destroyer droid through a series of elaborate maneuvers featuring special lights and authentic sound effects. Uh, and then at the bottom you've got the Tiger, the official Star Wars um, website details, Tiger Electronics logo, uh, Lucasfilm copyright information, um, the t &M copyright 1999 Tiger Electronics Limited and the Tiger uh, web address. Model number 88201, and you've got the Star Wars fan club information on the bottom right hand corner, and it says printed on recycled paper. Okay, so that is the yo yo. Let's just have a look at the, the yo yo itself because um, I'm just going to bring it in a little bit because um, it is the the droid as, as it is. They're, I mean, they're balls originally, these destroyer droids, and they roll into action um, and then they straighten out. Uh, but it is a, uh, got all the detailing of the droid all folded up um, on the yo-yo uh, front and back sides. I think it's both exactly the same, actually. Um, no, it's not, because the front side, you've got the lights. And on the back side, there doesn't appear to be any lights at all. Um, but size-wise, we are looking at 7 centimetres in diameter. And if we measure the whole width of it, we're looking at 5 centimetres so it's seven by five. Now, unfortunately, as this is all sealed up, I can't actually, oh, I'll just open it a little bit, but I can't actually open it up and take it out. It is actually sealed in the packet. Um, but it does say um, that there's also sound effects involved in it. So there's noises and things as you um, move the, the yo-yo up and down, it's gonna make some um, flashing lights and sound effects. Um, I'm assuming, yeah. Um, so it does require three LR44 batteries, which are included. So there's obviously a tab in there. So you pull the tab out and um, the batteries then become active. However, this is from 1999. So we are talking 25 years ago. So those batteries in there may need to be replaced um, because of the age of them. 25 years on, I shouldn't think they're going to um, be much good. Uh, they may well work. Uh, believe me, quite a lot of the toys that we've had uh, with batteries in have still functioned. So, you know, they may well work. Uh, but I would recommend changing them um, if you purchase this item and um, uh, want to open it to use it. Um, great detailing on the back here, though, of the, of the Destroyer Droid. Uh, it, is, it is all uh, plastic moulded onto the back of the uh yo yo and again on the front uh, but like i said earlier you have got the lights on here so uh, they light up as the sound effects come on as well and you've got you can just see the section here it's got the holes in it for the sounds to come out so you've got the, basically like a pair of speakers 
it says Star Wars on the top there. And I can't see, oh, it's got all the copyright information around the sides there as well. Um, but other than that, I can't see anything else printed um, on the actual item itself, uh, apart from the year. Uh, but that really is generally it. There's not a great deal I can really tell you or show you about this item because obviously it's still sealed up in its original packet and I can't actually open it, unfortunately. And I don't have one of these open. But they did do a couple of these. Um, the This was the, the Destroyer Droid. And I think there was a Trade Federation Battle Cruiser that they did as well. Um, but I, th I think there was only the two. I don't remember seeing any others than that. How well did they do? Well, I don't believe they've done fantastically well. Um, you didn't really see them around very much um, back in 1999. Um, so I don't believe that they've done fantastically well. Yeah, I don't think you ever saw many quantities around back back then days, and, and you certainly don't see them very often these days. So overall, uh, yeah, not a great seller. Um, Tiger Electronics did do a lot of products uh, based on Star Wars. Uh, but I think the yo-yos probably wasn't their most popular selling line. Uh, but of course now, 25 years on, these items have now become incredibly collectible, uh, especially in this mint seal condition. Uh, you can pick the yo-yos up. They do quite often appear, well, I say quite often, they do occasionally appear uh, on the platforms, that, but they're usually um, used ones that are out the packets um, and have already been played with and what have you. Um, very, very rarely you find ones that are still sealed um, in the original packet as this one is. But, yes, you know, as usual, we at Minus Touch have managed to find a few. And they're currently available to purchase on the Minus Touch website. Which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It'll take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this. And many other vintage Star Wars items. And many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10 thousand products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website there will be something for everybody and i'm absolutely positive that you're not going to want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis so if there's something in particular you are looking for something old that you never had to find Something quirky that you might want to buy for a friend. Or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long-lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.